welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited to be making this video. I've been wanting this for a long time and Polytop recently had a Labor Day sale and so on Labor Day I picked up a few products, one of which I'm about to show you. So Polytop has this entire line called No Filter and so we have a No Filter foundation no filter concealer, no filter setting powder. I don't have the foundation, but I do have the setting powder and the concealer. So, um, this is actually the second shade. It looks so light. Like, it looks almost completely white. It's like an off-white color. But on the left side, I thought it was going to be a little bit darker than it is. But this is what it looks like. So today, this is what I'm going to be reviewing for you. I wish I had the foundation to um, sort of try them together, because I think they're sort of made to go together. But I do have the powder, so I'm using the powder. So, normally I would wear a moisturizer or primer underneath, but I don't want it to affect my review of the concealer. So I'm just going to not wear any primers or anything. But I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Color Foundation. And this is any shade classic ivory. I'm going to be applying this with my e.l.f. Luring Selfie Ready Foundation Brush. No! This video is a disaster. I need some... Ugh. Sam. Do you have me open this here? Sure. Sure thing. You can wear Okay. So actually, I'm not going anywhere today, but I have three videos to film, so for my next few videos, I'm going to be wearing the same outfit because I'm filming them all today, so. Um, this is my favorite foundation, so since I don't have the Polyfop foundation, I kind of just want to see how it works with my favorite one. Oh, and by the way, I know this setup is a little bit different, and that's because normally I would be over there with my new dresser and that, but um, I got some new furniture, and everything is moved around. Um, one day I'll do a, a room tour after everything is organized and everything, but for now, this is what we got. <laughs> so I don't have a whole lot of foundation on, because I want to see how well the concealer covers everything, and I'm not going anywhere, so I don't need a whole lot of makeup. Okay, enough for the concealer. Um, I picked up the shade Fair. This is the second shade. The first shade is literal pure white. Like, it's not, like, skin tone. It is white. This is what it looks like. It's, um, a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Not a lot smaller, but I thought it would be, like, more than this. Um, it's actually pretty small. Let me show you. So this is the color top, and this is the Tarte Shape Tape. So I guess they are similar sizes, but um, the Tarte Shape Tape has more glass, and this one is not as filled up. I guess, I don't know. So this is what the applicator looks like. It's not like a gem foot. It's like one of those flat ones, as you can see, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try to take it a little bit slow because I'm not sure how, like, how full coverage it is. Also, I don't know what is happening to my hair. Can you see this? It's right here. It's just, like, so fluffy. I don't know. So, here we go. Oh, um, by, by the way, this concealer retails for $6. I think it might be $8. I think it's $8, but I got it on sale for six dollars so i don't know how fast it dries so i'm going to blend this out really quickly oh, i'm using my elf small taper brush to blend this out i actually um i wasn't using this for um wet products i was using it for highlight but recently my other brush i just it's not been getting in here very well so i've been using this and it works very well. This looks really pretty so far. It has really nice coverage. Can you see the difference? And I actually like the shade that I got. It's very brightening, but it doesn't look like too light 
person from the now. So if you have similar skin tone to me, I know in this lighting my skin looks like albino, but um, this is actually not too light for my skin tone. So now the amount that I put on is actually the perfect amount in my opinion. The texture of it is it's not as thick as the Tarte Shake Tape. The Tarte Shake Tape is thick, but it isn't like really runny. It's pretty thick, and the coverage is really nice. Um, but I will have to see how it wears throughout the day because I have super dry skin. It has my my skin hasn't been too dry lately, but um throughout the day concealer will usually start looking pretty rough so i guess we'll see but right now this concealer looks amazing like super super amazing i'm really impressed with it so far and it is really affordable so um i hope that it works out throughout the day and doesn't get too like dry or anything i feel like when i hold this card up the light balances out so you can see um, my under eye a little bit better. So far, I really like it. It has really nice coverage. Um, I would say that it is medium to full coverage. And it's also super affordable. You kind of have to blend it out really fast though. It is, it kind of dries down fast once you put it on. So you have to act very quickly. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm noticing that it looks pretty matte, but it doesn't look dry on my skin, so that's good. Because a lot of times when things are matte um, on my skin, they look really dry, but it actually looks really pretty. I really like it so far. And I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter uh, Loose Setting Powder, and this is the translucent one. But um, I have noticed that the concealer, um, it kind of dries quickly once you put it on. So what you need to do is do like one under eye at a time so that it doesn't like dry too fast. Um, so like I did with this eye, I just put some on, blend it out, put some on, blend it out. Instead of putting it on everywhere and then blending it out because that's will dry down and it won't blend very well. By the way, they are cruelty free and this comes with, it doesn't say how many fluid ounces are in this, but um, it seems like there's quite a bit in it. It looks really nice so far. I set it pretty lightly and I didn't want it to look dry on my face because I'm already, uh, I already have dry skin and it is matte. So I only lightly set it because I don't want to look powdery or anything. So let me hold this up. This is what we got so far. It looks super nice. But I'll be back with the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Overall, I really love the concealer. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, it is pretty matte. Um, I would say if you have dry skin like me, it might be an iffy thing. But for me personally, I will be using it again. I think it looks pretty nice and it has a really nice coverage and a very, very nice shade range. So there is a shade for everyone in there. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the bell notification next to my subscribe button to be notified whenever I post a video. I have a lot of videos planned for you guys. And also, Follow me on Instagram. I notify you on there and post pictures all the time. It'll be down in the description below. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye!